Hey there everybody, this is Ira, and I'm here with another new indie game. In fact, this one is so new, folks, that it's not even made yet. This is Space Haven. It is on Kickstarter right now. It is by Bugbite Games, Bugbite Limited, I think, which is a Finnish developer. Uh, they made the Battle Void series of games, so they have experience. This is an experienced team. Um, and yeah, lucky, lucky me, I've got, I've got access to their early alpha uh, Kickstarter demo and I get to show it to you. So there will obviously be a link to their Kickstarter in the description below. Go and take a look. Um, the Kickstarter is open until the end of March 2019. They've already hit their goal, but they've got some really cool stretch goals. And, you know, obviously as a backer, you'll get a copy of the game and stuff like that. So it is worth checking out. Uh, this game is said to be influenced by games like Dwarf Fortress, which is one of my favorite games of all time, and RimWorld, which is based on Dwarf Fortress, or influenced by Dwarf Fortress, as well as uh, Oxygen Not Included. They took some some ideas from that, so um, I don't want to make you guys wait any longer. Uh, this is a blind first, first look at the game, by the way. I have not tried the game yet. I've just looked at the videos uh, on Kickstarter and things like that. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, as usual, Let's jump into the options and see what we got here. We got separate music and sound, very good. We've got a UI scale option. We've got colorblind mode. I'm gonna go ahead and tick that because some of my viewers might be colorblind. Uh, bloom, not, no tooltip added yet. <laughs> okay, well, it is not finished. Uh, we have to keep in mind, by the way, this is an unfinished game. This is just an early alpha. This is just a demo. This does not have everything that the game is going to have. So we have to keep that in mind. We might find some bugs. There'll be some missing features. And that's okay. We're just looking at what they have so far and getting inspired and getting excited about what they're making. So I'm not sure what this bloom is going to do. Um, I'll, I'll just leave it at default. Uh, oh, look at this. We've got quite a bit and we can change the key bindings. All right, I'm, I'm satisfied with the, with the options menu. They've got everything that I would typically expect at the start. There's nothing about screen shake, but I don't think there's going to be screen shake in this game, so that's fine. Um, I think we'll just jump into load game. So there's two scenarios that are here already, and uh, they told me, make sure you do the first scenario first and learn how to build a ship and then try the second scenario. So we'll see how much we have time for today. Your crew of four have left the Earth behind and the stars await you. First though, you need to build a ship. You have a basic platform and some essential supplies, but you'll need to build everything else yourself. Play the scenario to learn the basic game mechanics. Uh, yeah, let's do it, let's get in there. All right, and here we are. We've got our little our little crew members. We can zoom. Oh, okay. It's not a smooth zoom, but we can zoom. Uh, we got WASD to move around, and this is. I'm just figuring this out as I go here. Now remember, incomplete game. So this is the tutorial, I guess, but I don't really see an actual tutorial yet. Presumably, this will all be improved, but I'm sure we can figure it out. These things don't have power. You can see that from the tooltips. Um, these, these people here, can I click on them? Yeah. They will all have, like, unique personalities and stuff like that. We've got schedule, uh, we've got happiness, health, rest, and oxygen. Oxygen is gonna be important. That's, uh, I think what they took from oxygen not included. Is this gonna be, like, a gas, gas tracking thing? Um, oh, wow, yeah, we've got all kinds of details about these folks. Wow. Micromanagement? Check. Gonna be plenty of micromanagement. Okay. Build tools facility, okay. Build tools facility, this facility will transform resources to recharge your crew members. Build tools, there should be an apostrophe there, but I'm sure we'll get, they'll do the proofreading later. Uh, essential for any type of building, okay. I click for more info. Then we've got these warning, ship storage full, facility not on power grid, no place to rest, and no tools facility. Okay, so we need to build the tools facility. Click for more info. Okay, so this is uh, the info we already had actually. So let's see if we can find the build. Looks like these are maybe our resources. We got tooltips. Here we go. Star map. Jump. Tactical. I think tactical, uh, the combat stuff, I think they said is not in yet. So that's fine with me. I'm not big on combat. Okay. There we go. Build. Build. Uh, hmm. Production. We need tools facility. Storage power. For, no. Ship. Crew, facility, no, not these. We'll find it, we'll find it. <laughs> yeah, I, I will definitely uh, appreciate a, a little bit of a more guided tutorial, but again, we have to be happy that we're allowed to play this at all. Here we go, tools facility, I found it, creates 
build tools for your crew members essential for building. Okay, so we get to put this wherever we want. Oh, we got in the bottom left there, G to rotate, counterclockwise, F to rotate clockwise, hold V for build view. So let's rotate this like this and maybe get this baby over here. Environment condition, low body temperature. Oh no, Patricia's got low body temperature. Okay, uh, it's finished. Right click, there we go. Right click to leave that. Built tools facility, I did it. Uh, now what? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Everybody's going and getting, oh, they're building the, they're, they're building it. Okay, it's not built yet. All I did was, was uh, plan it out and now they're building it. Oh, cool. Oh, I like the graphics. Very nice graphics so far. Oh, they got custom, they got somebody composing custom music and sounds for this as well, so. Accident, oh no, are you okay? What happened? Major uncom uncomfort. <laughs> Discomfort is the word there, but, uh, that's all right. Is there a way I could find out exactly how... What injury they got? No, okay. Create optimal gas conditions. So build life support, build CO2 slash hazardous gas scrubber. Life support. Let's find life support. It'll be in here somewhere, presumably. Food, item... Resource. Maybe under crew? Life support. Here we go. Life support. For producing oxygen. Needs water to operate. Okay, well. Oh, look, we've got the gas overlay here. There's plenty of oxygen in here now, but presumably that will be dropping. Let's put the life support there. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but... Uh, and they'll build that. This is very Dwarf Fortressy. I have not played RimWorld. I should probably play RimWorld. I, usually I'm not so much into the space genre of games, but I've played tons of Dwarf Fortress, and this feels a lot like Dwarf Fortress, where you plan out where stuff is going to go. And uh, CO2 slash hazardous gas script is right here. Okay. Can we put them right next to each other? Yeah. Um, so yeah, the, the, the idea of you tell them what to do, and then they kind of, it's up to them when and how they do it. Okay, so I guess we wait for them to build this. I don't know if I should be waiting, but environment condition three. Oh no, everybody's cold. This doesn't have power, not on power grid. I guess I'm gonna have to figure out power. Wall power node? Distribute power to facilities and lights within a radius. In the power view mode. Okay, here we go. So I can stick this here. Cannot build here, why not? Oh, okay, it has to be on the wall. Well, no, how about this one instead then? I don't know, oh, that's much better. Okay, uh, put that there. Build that, please, folks. I don't know what kind of resources I need to be watching out for here. This this feels like a game that you're gonna have to play quite a bit to um, to get the hang of, of what you need to be paying attention to and stuff. We're getting there, though. Can I make this a priority? High priority. Oh, I can! Awesome! Oh, I love that. Love that. Somebody come build this, please. I don't know whose job it is. I don't really know you people yet. We'll get we'll get there. I'll get to know you eventually, but we need power. I didn't realize I had to do this. Keep temperature at optimal. Thermal regulator and wall thermal regulator. Okay. Let's get to work on that. Will that be in here? Yep. Thermal regulator. Um, put one right there. And the wall thermal regulator. Stick on the wall over here. See how that goes. Build tasks queued. Nowhere to rest. I'm working on it, folks. So are they still building this? Is this... Okay, they're building it. Tim's building it. How you doing, Tim? What's your... You're a teacher before the apocalypse. Yeah, there was an apocalypse, apparently. Earth is destroyed. You were... Material mover? What were you, Patricia? What was your job? You were a farmer. How about Etienne? Material mover. Antisocial. <laughs> Look at this. Look at all the details, folks. The amount of micromanaging you can do on this is crazy. And it's the same in Dwarf Fortress, which, again, basically my favorite. Uh, power node unlinked. How do I link it? Links. Uh. Oh boy. Selected link bi-directional. Oh, 
There's a tooltip there. Create links for power flows in both directions. I put one right there. One way. Do I have to like... Oh! Nope. I don't think that was it. There we go. Are they linked now? Um... How do I change the view back here? Power. Okay, it's an overlay. Did it work? Power node unlinked. Select node and press links to set. I did that. Links. We're figuring it out. Uh, where was it? Power. Power node. Aha! There we go. Put another one there. I don't know how much materials we got. <laughs> or how much this is gonna cost. High priority. Get this done. We need power. You're all gonna be very cold and uncomfortable if we don't get you some power. What else do we need? We need some chairs and couches. Well, we can do that shortly. Furniture. Um, chair? We can make like a chair, table and chair. Couple, couple of chairs, table. How about this? Power node unlinked. Okay, we're still working. We're still working on this one. Patricia's on it. Thank you so much, Patricia. How are we doing? Did we do it? Links. Link to this. Did it work? No, don't have any accidents. I'm busy. I'm working on stuff. Uh-huh. Oh, I have to click on this. Okay, okay. Did we do it? We did it! Do we have power? Facility not on power grid. Is that... We can overlay. Okay, down here. We need another one. We need another one. We got this. I'm figuring it out. Very proud of myself, actually. We need another one, maybe... Is it just these two? Oh, we got we got more than two that need that need power. Put one there and one here. I need some light. It's very dark in here. I think I saw lights. Yeah, floor lamp. Put one there. I don't know how much we're using for materials or whatever, but I'm sure I'll figure it out when everything gets destroyed. Link. Hey! Turn that off. What else we got? We got temperature. Comfort. Oh, this is a very uncomfortable place. <laughs> Jobs. What does that say? Room group? Uh, wall modes. Oh, okay. Cool. Oxygen. Got plenty of oxygen. We're good on oxygen. Carbon dioxide. Okay. Room green. I think that's good. Smoke. Oh my goodness. Hazardous gases and vents. What's this one? Don't know. Goodness gracious. All right, we need some some comfort. Let's put like just a couch over here. It's gonna be like a little hangout corner. Uh, this needs to be linked up. Couple ammo. Oh, there's a maximum of three links for each of these. Okay, we're learning. We're learning how things work. Everyone's like, I'm so uncomfortable. I want to sit down. Okay, expand spaceship hole. You know what? I'm going to give my folks a place to, like, sleep first. Bed. More comfortable than sleeping on floors, you say? Astounding. Never would have imagined. Okay, expand spaceship hole. Build hull. Zero of one. Hull. Hull. Build hall. Alright, so I guess we can just like expand the ship out. Build hall. Oh, okay. Aha. Okay, that seems like plenty enough, right? Let's see if they do that. They've got beds. Oh, thank goodness. Wait, is this done? No, 
Yes, it is done. It's actually kind of tough to tell what's just planned and what's already built. How are you people feeling? Um, Patricia, Patricia. How are you feeling today? Status. Space fatigue, hungry, major uncomfort. <laughs> uncomfort, I think it's like, what's not on the power grid? This isn't on the power grid? Oh, I think everything is on the power grid, isn't it? This doesn't just like stop here. I'm a little confused. Oxygen, but I don't know what you do. Airlock, okay. You are probably an airlock. Oh, look at this, they're building, they're building. Very cool. Can I rotate? There must be a way to rotate. Jump. Ba, ba, ba. Hmm. I don't see any way to rotate. Ooh. Oh, I'm hitting hotkeys by accident. I don't know what's not on the power grid, though. Seems like everything should have power now. This could be a bug. This could be a bug. Saying, okay. Low power here. Aha. Uh -huh. but, but why, though? I'm a little confused by that. Shouldn't this give off power in all directions? I mean, I can make another power node. Uh, here we go. Production. Power. Um, power node. Let's see if this helps. Cannot build here. Cannot build here, cannot build here. Uh, how about a wall? Oh, I can't make a wall power node because I need 10 of something. <laughs> okay, well, this is the best we can do then. Uh, need colonist beds and toilet. I already built a bed. Do I gotta build another bed? Build another bed. Can I just put them right next to each other? Are they gonna be like, cannot reach this? Uh, toilet. Whoops. X1 toilet. Oh, yeah. Let's put this in over here. <laughs> Give him a little privacy. Build tasks queued. How many colonists do we have? One, two, three. We only have four colonists, so this is enough beds then. How are you feeling? Ate too much. Major uncomfort. I'm going to start using that word, uncomfort. It's not an English word. The English word is discomfort, but... Um, it's it's so fun. I like it. Uncomfort. I mean, it make it's a, it's it's an understandable mistake for a non-native English speaker to make. That's for sure, because we do say uncomfortable. How come nobody's building this bed? Hey, folks. Oh, where are you? Are you he's sleeping on the floor. Umer, please don't sleep on the floor next to the toilet. Is it Umar or Umar? I actually I'm having a hard time reading the uh, Umar. Okay. Oh, well, I tried to get you to build another bed and you didn't do it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> gonna sleep on the floor next to the, the planned toilet. Oh, he's gonna be in a bad mood tomorrow. How do I? There must be an easier way to look at the crew. Is it here? Crew. Hey, oh, look at this. Oh my goodness, the details. Holy crap. Okay. How are you all? You're all just sleeping. Ooh, Tim keeps getting up. Tim, listen. If you're gonna be hogging the bed so that Umar doesn't have a place to sleep, you need to actually stay in the bed and sleep, please. Oh, I'm so, so I feel so bad now. I didn't build enough beds. This is this is another kind of dwarf fortress holdover, where in dwarf fortress the dwarfs do not all sleep at the same time usually. Like maybe the first night they do, but then they very quickly develop their own sleep schedule. So it's that actually not necessary at the very start of the game to build a bed for everyone. Apparently not so much here. Let's speed this up until they wake up. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness! Even on uh, full speed, they they sure did sleep for a while there. Okay. Uh, you're all awake. Somebody please build this bed. <laughs> High priority. Please build a bed. Oh, you are you happy, Patricia? Uh, uh, uh. It's, too, it's too tough to click on you that way. Patricia. 
There we go. How are you feeling? You're feeling good. Okay. Still major uncomfort. Someone thanked me, got comforted. Aww. These people are taking care of each other. I appreciate that. How's Umar doing? Not as good, but actually not, not as bad as I expected. So why is... Okay, everyone is idling because their schedule says leisure. Schedule. Okay, they all get a break in the morning, I see. Oh, look at this is actually really... Can I change this? Can I change their... Oh, I can! I can, like... Have them on a staggered... Staggered schedule. Okay, Patricia's gonna be going to sleep now. <laughs> Uh, let's move this one. No, this one this way. So that everybody's got a slightly different schedule, so that we always have somebody available. Good two people on the same schedule, but that's okay. Very cool. I wish I could do that in Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> wish I could just, like, tell them when they, they're allowed to go to sleep. Trisha, you get an extra nap. Actually, I should have done that to Umar, shouldn't I? Tim? Tim, you gonna build this toilet? Hey, Tim. Ah. What are you doing? Carrying to tile. Interesting. What are these? Pod hanger. Oh, okay. Miner. These are like for interacting with the environment and stuff. Shuttle. Storage. And it's the airlock. Got it. Oof, that zoom is a little bit... A little bit much. I need to- I'm, I'm so used to kind of the smooth scroll, you kind of just slowly zoom in and out. Gotta remember, it's a jump in this one. It would just take some getting used to, that's all. Can we move things around? Move, we can. Oh, that's good. So if that turns out not to work, I don't have to like build another one. Man, building a toilet's a lot of work. Maybe that's why they're all so uncomfortable. <laughs> Oops. I'm sorry, folks. It's it, There's not a lot of video games where you gotta worry about making sure there's a toilet. You know? Can I build, like, a door? Well, I can build a door. Let me, like, give you a little bit of privacy in here. <laughs> equip your crew members. Okay. Draft and equip your crew members with weapons. Select a character and draft. Mm, it says him. That should that should be them because we have different genders here. After this, go to a storage facility and use it again to open the inventory menu. All right. Well, let's close close this. And first, I want to put a light in here. Let's draft. Uh, Patricia, you had extra rest. Oh goodness, ships. How do I draft you? Oh, here we go. Draft. Draft. Inventory. Uh, how do I do this part? Go to a storage facility and use it to open up the inventory menu. Got the storage facility here. Manage. Let's bring here. No tool to add it yet. Um, hmm. Manage inventory. Right, but how do I give this stuff to a character? Normal? <laughs> I clicked the normal button, everyone. <laughs> oh my goodness. Patricia, listen. What I want you to do is come here, I think. Oh, wait, wait. Right click. Pick up. Is this gonna work? I have no idea. Let's find out. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so you have to right click. Oh boy, that tutorial needs some work. But you know something? I'm remembering. Uh, ugh, guns. I'm not such a big fan of guns. I guess. Take that. Okay. Um, I'm remembering when I first started playing Dwarf Fortress as well, and uh, it's it's even more difficult. <laughs> it's even more difficult. Okay, what is this now? Building tools. Available 410. It wasn't letting me build the thing because I think it said I didn't have building tools. It says I need 10 and that I have zero. But up here it says I have 410. 
So I'm a little bit confused. It's letting me build it. High priority. Someone go build that, please. Tim, you doing it? I always count on Tim, yeah? No, maybe not. Idling. Oh, Umar. 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 Umar's on it. Thank you so much, friend. Okay. Explore a derelict ship. I'm gonna need some instructions. When drafted, crew members can be given a command to enter a shuttle. After crew members are in the shuttle, keep the shuttle drafted to transport... Keep the shuttle drafted to transport your crew to a derelict ship. The shuttle needs to be moved manually. Press dock and select the docking position to dock. When at destination, wait a moment. Then select shuttle and press exit button on each crew member. Oh my goodness, this is a lot. This is a lot. Okay. Uh, I guess... I need to draft more of you folks. I guess... Um... I select all three of you. And... Move to... Spacesuit on. Enter craft. Well, I guess you need spacesuits. Spacesuit on. Insufficient oxygen levels. Crap! Take, o take oxygen? There we go. Oh boy. Enter craft. And... Just have to move it manually. Press dock and select the docking position to dock. Dock. Select airlock or tile. Except... I think I might be about to kill all my crew members. <laughs> Omar, I think you are about to get, uh, all of the beds. So... Where, where are we going? I don't see anything around us. Oh, here we go. Over here. Asteroid. No, I need to find a derelict ship. Asteroid. Wait, can we, we can zoom out a lot. There we go. Uh, here we go. This looks like a derelict ship. Come here. Oh boy. Ship. Dock here. Here. Accept. Please don't die. <laughs> Please don't die, my friends. It's really far away. Okay, here we go. We're getting on board. And Umar is just hanging out. Got the ship to himself. Power node unlinked. Crap. Okay, can I pause? Yes, I can. Uh, let's go over here. Let's link up this power node. No. This. The power node. How do I, uh... Oh, there it is. Link. Link that baby up right there. And, uh... There we go. Your toilet's working. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, here we go. Back over here. I wonder if there's a way to set, like, uh, hotkeys that you can jump to different points. Are you docked? Here. Accept. Aha. So we need to, like... Oh, no! No, 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 no! <laughs> no, go back! I think I... I think I just undocked it. No, 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 go back. Do we need to worry about fuel? We got oxygen. Dock here, accept. Then I think I need to use a different command to get them off of the ship. Dang, this game is complicated. But again, so are some of my very favorite games. To be, to be fair, this game is a lot more user-friendly than Dwarf Fortress is. Um, unexplored. Um, okay, here we go. Get off the shuttle. Get in there. No oxygen. Okay. So, uh, all you folks. Come here. I'm gonna explore. Oh my goodness. What... What the heck? What was that? Okay, they fight automatically. <laughs> I was very worried. 
All right, fight this thing. Go kill it. Go kill the bug, space bug. Good job. Well done. Salvage available. Click me for instructions. Select explore chip and go into salvage mode to salvage resources. Give resource transfer command through tactical menu. Note both crew members and shuttle need to be undrafted for them to salvage and tra tra transfer resources. Oh my goodness. This is so complicated. Okay. Select explored ship. That's this. How do I, um, okay, I'm pausing here. Oh, here we go, salvage. Open salvage. Except, I, did I do it? I have no idea. Give resource transfer command through tactical menu. Give resource transfer command. Transfer? No tooltip. Transfer all. I guess. I need a transfer all button. And now I need to, uh, oh my god, what just happened? <laughs> the view just bounces around. Okay, now I need to undraft all of you. And also the ship. Oh no! Ship, where you, where are you going? Uh, <laughs> where'd it go? It's just flying around. Salvageable resources. Yeah, I guess it's doing that. Um, I hope the ship isn't just gonna leave them there. <laughs> okay, I just went on. I just went on a little joyride. Just went on a little trip. What is this? A, A. Is it like the storage? All right, so we're getting all the resources. I think I managed to to select all the resources as salvageable. What is the green here? Uh oh, crew. Stat. Oh no, they're almost out of oxygen. They're all gonna die. Build hyperdrive and bridge. No, I don't think we're gonna get that far. I think my people are about to die. Are they getting more oxygen when they go? Ugh. Okay. They get more oxygen when they go to the airlock or something. Please don't suffocate, friends. One, wait, I had three of you here. Where's, where'd the shuttle go? Oh, they're just doing it on their own now, I guess, okay. Well, I hope they all survive. How are you doing, um Umar? You're all right. What was your personality? Peace-loving. I'm glad that I didn't send you to fight the space bugs. <laughs> Things are looking a little bit better here, though. Things are looking a little bit more operational. Uh, lighting is an issue. I guess I'm going to need to build a lot more lights to make the my ships look good. Um, but you know what, folks? I think we're out of time, actually. This is, this is definitely a game where, like, time runs out quick. Environment condition, low oxygen. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> I think they're all gonna... I, I, nobody's died yet. Oh no, Tim's going to bed. Uh-oh. These folks are all gonna die. Alright, anyway. Um, I think that's, that's probably enough for, for one uh, first look play session. I can see the potential of this game. I can see the depth of this game. Um, I hope I hope that my people survive. Uh, I will I'll play some more of it and get the hang of it, and uh, then we'll we'll check back. What we'll do is we'll check back in with this game further into development, and we'll see how things have improved. And I'm sure that they will. Like I'm not even remotely concerned about that. Uh, they're definitely they've put a lot of work into this. It is very clearly in in good shape, and uh, I like where it's headed. So if this game looks interesting to you, go ahead and check out the Kickstarter page uh, for Space Haven and consider consider supporting the development. Um, yeah, I, I think this is going to be a good one. I think this is really going to be a good one. I, their, their interface and their tutorial could use a little bit of work, but again, this game is, is it's still a very early alpha and they've got plenty of time to deal with all that stuff. Oh, yeah, they can use this bed. Yay, I learned something. Um, so yeah. 
Uh, thanks very much for watching, you guys. Uh, just remember, if this wasn't your cup of tea, if this isn't your type of game, then don't worry. Don't worry, my friends, because I will be back soon with another new little indie game. And, uh, and that one might just turn out to be your new favorite game. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!